after four hours searching. That's the telltale sound of success. Oh my goodness. Okay, don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. Well, this could not be more perfect. This is exactly what we were hoping to find, and it is a beauty. Easy there, easy there. Look at that buzzing of the tail. The classic threat mechanism of the rattlesnake. Now, I don't care what kind of animal you are, deep in the back of your mind, you're gonna know that that means trouble, and you should give this snake a wide berth. The muscles that power that rattle are some of the fastest acting muscles in nature vibrating 50 times a second. But obviously, that is not the dangerous end. The business end is here. That arrow-shaped head is thrown towards prey. She'll strike out, drawing her body back into that S shape she's creating there now, which gives her a good distance to extend into, and then stabbing into the prey with her long, thin, needle-like fangs. Those fangs are hollow, and they link to venom glands that run along the length of the upper jaw. And it has a venom that affects the circulatory system. So it causes death in mice in probably about 10 seconds, no more. And, oh, crumbs. She's really, really heavy. It's actually surprisingly difficult getting her up on this hook. That very vibrant diamond pattern that runs all the way down the back of this snake is extremely common, particularly in rattlesnakes, breaking up the outline of the snake, making it really cryptic and camouflaged. Unfortunately, that is exactly the reason why people get bitten by this snake. They don't see it, they're walking around in the fields without any shoes on, and they tread either on it or next to it, and it bites in defense. Although some people might think that it's kind of sinister, to me, this is one of the most fascinating, even beautiful creatures that I could ever wish to see. Okay, beautiful. Off you go. What a beauty. Worth every second. <laughs>